Cheryl and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Instagram growth. So if you want to grow your Instagram then I'm going to give you some juicy tips that you can follow to end up growing your Instagram. So if you want to learn these juicy tips then just hit the thumbs up and click subscribe. So let's delve into this video. If you've got an Instagram account and you're really struggling to just grow it, to get more followers, to get more engagement on your photos, then I've got a few tips for you that will just help you to get more followers and to boost your engagement. So, the first one is timing. This is timing of when to post your photos. If you go into your analytics, you'll be able to see the information about the people that follow you. So you'll see a percentage rate of who's female and who's male. You'll be able to see the top locations of where your followers are. And you'll also be able to see the time that they are online. So for me, the best best time to post is between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. because that is when most of my followers are online and you want to post when they're online because with Instagram the first hour that you post is the most important for engagement with YouTube it's 24 hours but with Instagram it's the first hour so you need to make sure that your followers are online at that time that you post because then the moment that you start getting likes and engagement and comments then it will trigger the Instagram algorithm then that will benefit your photo and it will get seen by more people take a look at your analytics and see when's the best time to post for you so the next tip is to do stories stories is such a great feature to use and I never really used them before and when I did I was just getting like 70 views on them but now every single story that I post I'm getting about 4,000 views and it just keeps going up every single day because I post around seven stories a day I think it is and um, most of those are not even people that follow me I'm getting new viewers and followers just by creating stories and when you do a post make sure that you share it onto your story and put new posts and click on the little arrow to share it to your story because then people that don't follow you will see that you've got a new posts and then they'll click on the post and then they'll engage with that post so always make sure that you share your posts onto your story as well. The next one is comments. Engaging in comments is really, really important because it builds up relationships with your audience. If someone leaves you a comment, give it a heart and send a comment back. You can just do a little thumbs up or a little heart back to them. But if you make a thoughtful comment back, Instagram loves that. So I suggest you put at least four words into the comments. If you just keep putting hearts and hearts and hearts and hearts, then you'll just get flagged as spam. So make rich comments and comment back to every single person that comments on your photos. Okay, the next tip, I'm going to go back to analytics because the analytics, you should be looking at this on a regular basis because it tells you so much information. If you click on one of your photos and just click on insights, you'll be able to see the impressions, how many people engaged with it, how many people liked it, how many people shared it, how many people saved it. And from those impressions, you'll also get an idea of where people found you. So whether it was from your profile page, through the hashtags, through the home page. So looking through your analytics on each single photo is really important because then you can see which type of content creates the most engagement and the most likes and the most shares and saves. And then you can just keep creating more content like that. If you create more similar content, then that will get the same engagement algorithm will favor you and it will show it to more and more people so check your analytics every single time that you post the next one is consistency for all these tips that i'm giving you it's based on the algorithm and what instagram are looking for so consistency is more than like more than once a month so if you post every couple of days every three times a week four times a week then it will show Instagram that you're active and people will engage more into your content. They'll see that you're posting more regularly and then they'll, they'll just really love it and then you'll get more followers because you'll be shown to more people. So putting a plan in place where you can be more consistent with your post is important. So, so every single week you could plan out what you're going to put on Instagram. So get your photos ready, get the captions ready and also get the hashtags ready. So then when you are ready to post, you can just copy and paste it all and then just post it. So be consistent, figure out a plan and just execute that plan. Okay, the next tip I'm going to talk about your bio and niche. So your bio is the most important thing that people see when they go onto your page. So with mine, you can see that I'm a mindset and business coach. It says what I help with, what I do. It's got links to my website. It's got everything on there that anyone needs to know about what I do and what about my business. If you've just got on your bio, I'm a dog lover, then that doesn't give much away about you and what you do. So. Think about what your niche is, what you do, what you offer to people. Just make a short little statement and put that in your bio because then people will go to your profile and they'll see whether they want to follow you, they'll see what you do, who you are and how you can benefit them. The next one is DMs. 
so if someone dms you you should dm them back because then that builds relationships as well you don't have to have a full-blown conversation every single day with them it's just appreciation that you're giving to them for supporting your posts and your page the same as i told you with the comments just dm them back and they will feel really happy that you've taken time out to actually reply back to them. Now, staying on the subject of niche, you should be looking at other influencers within your niche and seeing what content they're providing. Look at the photos they're doing, look at the kind of captions that they're doing, saying copy them because you shouldn't be copying them. This gives you an idea of how they present themselves through their posts and their stories. So then you can just take that away with you and do your own version of that. And also, if you go on one of their posts, and you see people have commented. If it's a comment that you actually like, then just give it a heart and also comment back to them. Then that person will look at you and they'll wonder who you are. So then they'll go onto your profile and see what you offer. And because they're on this person that's in the same niche as you, it's another way to grow your Instagram because you're engaging with people that are interested in that niche. So then they'll just end up following you as well. If you create good content, I'm not saying that they 100% follow you, but this is a way that you can get followers that are within your niche. And there we have all of my my tips for Instagram. With Instagram, the more of these that you implement, the algorithm will be triggered, be shown to more people, you'll get more impressions, and then that will lead to more followers, and more viewers, and more customers. With all these steps, this is what I've implemented in my Instagram business. So they do work, you just have to put time and effort into your Instagram page, and also the content that you provide on there. And you'll just, you'll grow, so just give it time, and just pursue it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, and click subscribe if you are not already subscribed to me. You can follow me on my social media, Instagram and Facebook. And if you like this video and want to see more on Instagram, I've done a quick little two minute topic episode and giving you my little secrets. So if you want to watch that, then just click here. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!